Aquaponics is a sustainable farming method that combines aquaculture, fish farming, and hydroponics. Soil-less plant cultivation in a symbiotic environment. In aquaponic systems, the waste produced by fish provides nutrients for plants. And in turn, the plants filter and purify the water that is then recirculated back to the fish tanks. This closed loop system creates a mutually beneficial relationship between fish and plants, resulting in both food production and efficient water use. Here's an overview of exploring aquaponics. Benefits of aquaponics. Sustainability aquaponics uses significantly less water compared to traditional soil-based farming. The recirculating water system minimizes water waste. Nutrient recycling. Fish waste provides essential nutrients for plant growth. As plants absorb these nutrients, they help to purify the water for the fish. Year-round cultivation. Aquaponics can be set up indoors or in greenhouses, allowing for year-round cultivation, regardless of weather conditions. Higher yields, aquaponic systems often yield faster plant growth and higher crop yields due to the nutrient-rich water and optimal growing conditions. Reduced chemical inputs. Because aquaponics relies on a balanced ecosystem, there's a reduced need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. Educational value. Aquaponics is a great educational tool for teaching about ecosystems, biology, and sustainable agriculture. Setting up an aquaponic system. Fish tank. Choose fish species that are well suited to aquaponics, such as tilapia, catfish, or trout. The fish waste will provide the nutrients for the plants. Grow beds. These are containers where plants are grown. They can be filled with a growing medium like expanded clay pellets or gravel, allowing the plants to anchor their roots and access water and nutrients. Water pump and aeration. A water pump circulates water from the fish tank to the grow beds. Aeration ensures that fish have sufficient oxygen. Biofilter, beneficial bacteria convert fish waste, ammonia, into nitrites and then nitrates, which are used by plants as nutrients. This biofilter can be integrated into the grow beds or exist as a separate component. Plants, chance plants that thrive in a hydroponic environment, such as leafy greens, herbs, tomatoes, and peppers. Their root systems help filter the water. Monitoring and maintenance. Regularly test water quality, peat, A, T, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate levels to ensure a balanced ecosystem. Feed the fish appropriately and maintain a healthy fish population. Harvesting. As plants grow, you can harvest them for consumption. The water cycle continues, benefiting both fish and plants. Considerations. Start small. If you're new to aquaponics, begin with a small system to learn the basics before scaling up. Research, study, the specific requirements of the fish and plants you intend to cultivate, as well as the system's overall design and maintenance needs. Balance, Achieving a balance between fish and plant populations is crucial to maintaining water quality and nutrient levels. Water temperature, depending on the fish species, maintaining a suitable water temperature is essential for their health. Pay control, monitor and adjust the PAK level to ensure that both fish and plants thrive. Education, aquaponics involves a learning curve. Don't hesitate to seek advice from experienced aquaponic practitioners or resources. Aquaponics offers a unique and sustainable way to grow both fish and plants while minimizing resource consumption. It's a fascinating endeavor that combines biology, ecology, and sustainable agriculture to create a self-sustaining ecosystem.